Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it and it's rent controlled. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Hey, little fella. Hey, little fella. Hey, little fella. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Locked. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Looks like a film script. I can't do anything. Looks like a film. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movies since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important.
Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um, Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh, he's a good man, Zach, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zach. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's, let's talk, talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne. Wait. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvonne? All right. Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? This isn't funny. Monique? What do I do now? Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something is not right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so... cliché. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? Not many. No, not many. I've had a pretty good run. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked, you had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny, it doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around, and thanks. Just a few questions. Damn it. Huh? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. No, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many glide upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. 
This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me. Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey, you stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well, what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure. I'll hold the fort. deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery? There was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. You coming? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Again. Hi. You got home okay? I think Nish had to half carry you out of here. Was I that bad? Well, originally I thought I had bought too much wine. It turns out I didn't have to worry, so thanks. <laughs> uh, sure. No problem. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. There. It's her. I knew it. 
Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. I'd better not touch it. Josie would get mad. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. Hi, Josie? Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything, the renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. Ready to go? All right, I'm coming. Hi, is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. <sighs> Paul, this one's for you. Hmm? Oh, sure thing. Come on over and step into my office. So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, ask away. I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. You really just give away money? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. 
You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Or if they did, they'd charge you a fortune in interest. But not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail too. <laughs> Is it everybody? God, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie. Come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. Stay put, kid. I'm going to snoop around. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B-mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only... It does the job. At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. Hey, Charlie, is this wireless internet thing safe? Of course it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't give you cancer, Paul. Then maybe you should sit next to it. Give it a rest, Paul. I've got no idea what this thing is. Hey, my internet just went down. Stupid wireless. It should come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back up. Hey, Charlie, what's that B-mail password again? Don't you remember anything? It's Tennis53. Just write it down. No way. Someone might find it. I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. I got three from this Tomo person. Who the heck is Tomo? Just delete them, Paul. Paul has a B-mail address just like me. Hmm, Paul... Hmm, hmm.
You coming? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. You remember me. Who could forget someone who could down three glasses of claret in half an hour? <laughs> I really like that painting of yours, the dark lady. My paintings aren't meant to be liked. They are meant to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. You know about Joe Gould. Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation. Those are the guys who are funding Josie's gallery? Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I just throw colors at a canvas. Bye, Claude. Yeah. Oh, man, look at the time. I guess I gotta go face the art public. See you at the gallery later, or not. Okay. You're drunk. Very much so. We need to talk about the Countess. Who? The Dark Lady. I don't talk about her. So you do know her. Don't try to understand my work. I haven't met a single person who really understands art. Not one. Who says I don't understand art? Hmm. You understand my work? All right. Tell me what you think of this painting behind me. The hard lines in this painting are really provocative. You think so, huh? Oh, yes. The hard lines against a soft world. Really? Excuse me. So, Claude... What do you think of this painting here? Does this painting represent darkness and shadow? It could. Is that what it feels like to you? Sure. Then it does. Excuse me. Claude, we really need to talk about... What do you think of this painting here? Why is one side so colorful and the other so dark? Well, look at it. The darkness is eating away the color, overwhelming it. That's a bit bleak. It's a bleak world. Can I be forward? Forward? It's been a great pleasure talking to you. Really? Yes. Very refreshing. You seem to have a greater understanding of art than most of the rabble here. I do? Listen, Rosangela, was it? Oh, call me Rosa. Rosa, I'm suffocating in here. I need a breath of fresh air. Come meet me out on the fire escape. We can talk more in private. Hey, way to go. Claude, where are you going? Just some fresh air, Joes. I'll be back, no worries. need to talk about the Countess. Yes. She's so sad and angry. I wonder why. Why is she sad? She's looking for something she lost. Yeah, her mind. It consumes her every thought. 
Why is she so angry? I don't know. I wish I did. I think she's being forced against her will. Being turned into something she shouldn't be. Like what? I don't know. How do you know her? I see her in my dreams. She's looking for me. She hasn't found me yet, but I'm hoping my painting will help. You want her to find you? Yes. She's trapped and looking to escape. She needs me to help her. She's chosen me. Oh, I get it. He's the chosen one. Why don't we ever meet anyone sane? Claude, the Countess is dangerous. Dangerous? No. She's lost and angry, but not dangerous. I've met her. She's killed many times. You? Why would she seek you? You're not an artist. No, but I've still seen her. She's powerful. Power you don't want to mess with. I just want to help her. Hey, pal, helping ghosts is our turf. Just be careful, okay? Careful? Just who are you? How do you know so much about my dreams? I'm... Well, I know things. Know things? Like what? That you're messing with stuff you don't understand. And you do? Well, I'm working on it. <sighs> All right. Teach me. I need to know. Don't look at me, kid. Look, there's something about me. I shouldn't tell you, but you're in danger. What is it? Look out! No! No! No, you didn't! Claude! Suicide. Well, what else would they think? He was drunk and erratic and known to be temperamental. Just be thankful they didn't accuse you of killing him. Yeah, lucky. She killed him, Joey, right in front of me. Us, kid. Us. I was there, too. He was opening up to me. I could have warned him. I, I could have helped him. It happened too fast. There wasn't anything either of us could do. It's not right. Newsflash, kid. The world's a rotten place. It doesn't have to be. We have to stop her, Joey. She can't kill anybody else. Look, darling, your aunt met that witch and barely survived. And no offense, doll, she had a stiffer spine than you. Maybe. But she didn't finish the job, did she? Not exactly, no. Then I have to finish what she started. Good night, Joey. I'm proud of you, Rosangela. You are proving to be much stronger than your guide suspects. He thinks I'm stupid. Be wary of him. Follow your heart. Who are you? Shh. Sleep. Tomorrow you have a challenge to meet, and you must be fresh. You won't remember me, but we will meet soon. Good morning. Hmm, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Hi, Josie. Rosangela, gosh, what a horrible night. Are you okay? I'm fine. Poor Claude, I had no idea what the show was doing to him. What do you mean? Well, he killed himself, didn't he? Oh, he grumbled a lot, but I thought deep down he liked the attention. Still, at least his work shall live on. You're keeping the gallery open? Of course. Everything here is completely sold out. Really? That painting behind you? Yesterday, I couldn't give it away. Today, I'm being offered 5000 for it. That's horrible. That's business, I'm afraid. I feel bad for Claude, but, well, I have debts. I have investors to pay back. Bye, Josie. Good luck with, well, everything. Sure, bye. A 
again. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why, are you looking for a loan? <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back since the film was such a success. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. The mug has a company logo on it. It says Gold Tech? No idea what that is. 